taking action on energy issues. Um, so I'll give you a little history and an update on where we are today. Um, these are just a few highlights. In 2005, the town of Winchester, so just as an FYI, in 2010 is when green communities started. In 2005, uh, there were three budget busters in town, and one of them was energy. So a bunch of bright sparks got together and said, we're going to take energy on and make sure it's no longer a budget buster for the town of Winchester. Um, as you know, our budget is always tight, so this was welcome news. So a bunch of really smart people sat down and got started working and um, really did a great job. So by the time Green Communities came around in 2010, we'd already saved 30% of our energy. So we went into Green Communities down 30% in municipal energy use, which is a huge accomplishment. Um, we joined Green Communities and said, yes, we will try to save another 20%. We're still trying. Um, we haven't quite gotten there yet, um, but 20 plus 30 is 50, so that's a pretty big number that we're striving to get, and we continue to grow our school population and add square footage to our buildings, so it's a, it's a heavy lift. Um, that said, in 2011, we took on Solarize Mass, which was a residential uh, program. I don't know if anybody remembers that one, but that was the state's first dive uh, into residential solar incentives, and we were a pilot community for that program, so that was really exciting. Um, and it really changed solar in this town. We went from installing about four arrays a year to about 45 arrays a year. So that's been a really good um, sort of, we climbed that hill, hill, excuse me, and then stayed there. Um, in 2014, we installed LED streetlights. That was courtesy of a Green Communities grant. Um, we've gotten Green Communities grants almost every single year, and we've done a ton of projects, so I only mention that one. Um, because it's so visible and it's lovely. It saves 60% of our energy on streetlights ever since. So we do the job once and it stays that way. We also eliminate a lot of our maintenance. So instead of having to change bulbs, they sit there for 20 years without having to be changed. Um, the Senior Energy Grant, that was another fun one that was done through the Jenks. And we um, helped a number of seniors do energy projects in their homes. And again, Neil alluded to that. So not only did we help a bunch of seniors in their homes save energy and do energy projects they might not have done otherwise, but also be more comfortable in their home and save money so they could stay in their home. Um, but other towns have said, hey, this is a really great idea. So now we've got Natick and North Andover trying the same thing. So we actually set an example there that's really exciting. Um, and then a couple other more recent things. Wind power, we started an energy aggregation. I'll talk more about that in a minute. And then this year we're doing two really cool things. Um, Heat Smart Mass, which Fritzy will talk about in a little while. And we're putting solar PV on three town buildings, finally. This is our third try, third time lucky. Um, and it's actually working. There's panels on the DPW now. Uh, Vince and Owen went up over April break, which was last week. So Vince and Owen's almost finished, 95% complete. And the high school project will be presented at town meeting, spring town meeting, starting um, at the end of this month. Um, so that's just a bit of the top line history. The financial highlights, um, when I said that energy was a budget buster, we've actually now kept our energy budget flat at roughly $2 million. It goes up and down a little bit, but we've basically been spending the same number since 2009. So I, I kind of like that number. Um, over the years, we've gotten um, over a million eight in grant funding, both from green communities, from federal grants, from other different state grants, so forth. We've gotten over a million dollars in utility funding. So we've done all this work, by and large, without using taxpayer funding. Um, we have avoided costs of over two million six. I think that's probably actually a low number, but it's hard to quantify. Um, but we've avoided a lot of costs over the years in energy, so it's no longer a budget buster. Um, 